Welcome to a video on formula for correlation and regression. In this video, we will be looking at how to use your calculator and how to actually come up with the regression line, line of best fit, um, and the correlation coefficient. So from the last video, we saw that Pearson's correlation coefficient is represented by the letter R. The least squares regression line or line of best fit can be asked either way in the HSC is represented by y equals a plus bx. Now, when you see it on your calculator, um, you'll see it entered or you'll be able to enter it as a plus bx or that's the values you'll get. Uh, note it's in the same format as y equals mx plus b in that the value in front of the x is the gradient. So in this case, the b and the value, the coefficients, the value by itself, um, is the y-intercept. So these are the steps in regards to entering it on your calculator. Um, the frequency column is rarely required. I know we learned that in one of our previous videos, how to turn the frequency on. If the frequency is on, that's fine. Um, you don't need to do anything because um, most of these um, or majority of these examples, the um, point you're actually plotting only occurs once. So um, you don't need to worry about uh, whether you've got the frequency on or not. But create your table, you press mode two, two. Um, if you've got a different calculator, as long as you press the A plus BX uh, button, um, that's what you um, are looking to create. What you'll end up with is you'll end up with um, an X and a Y column. Um, once you've entered your data into the X and its corresponding Y, um, you don't need to do it in numerical order. You need to make sure the points match. So the X value you enter must correspond to the Y value that goes with it because it's a set of coordinates. You then press AC, uh, it clears the screen, not the data again. So to find R, your correlation coefficient, you press Shift 1, so that's your stat button. Five for regression, some calculators might be different there. Three for R and then the equal. That'll get you your Pearson's correlation coefficient. To find your A value, you do the same. You press shift and then one for stat, five for regression, and then the one button for your A and then press equals. That's your Y um, intercept. And to find the B value, it's shift, then the one, five for regression, and then two for the B, that is your gradient. So here's an example. You will enter these um, into your calculator. Um, so next to the two, you need to enter minus three, next to the four, minus six, etc. And once you do that, if you then follow the steps, your R, so it's a pretty high correlation, your R, um, is minus 0.9858, A is 1.027, and B is minus 1.797. So this is a negative correlation because it's got a negative um, Pearson's correlation, but it's also got a negative gradient. So that means our uh, formula for our equation of our least squares regression line or line of best fit is y equals 1.027 minus 1.797x. Here's a larger sample. Once again, make sure you match the x value with its corresponding y value. So if you enter all this data, you'll get an r value of 0.48. So it's not a great um, correlation, um, but it's a positive, And you can tell that that's positive. Um, the A is 1.19, that's the y-intercept. The gradient is 1.057, so once again, emphasizing that it's a positive gradient, and Y equals 1.19 plus 1.057X. You can also find uh, the X bar and Y bar, that's the mean of X and Y, and the standard deviation. Um, these are found in the VAR, just like one of our previous videos. You need to go to the VAR, not the regression section. Um, and it can be used to find the R, 
uh, if needed, um, but we tend to use the easy method, which is um, enter it on your calculator and go to the regression section. Thank you very much.